Hey, good afternoon. It was a 60 to 40 vote. Two Democrats voting against it. One of them with us here right now, Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington. Thank you for being with us here, Senator Cantwell. Just tell us why you voted the way you did. Well, I want a stronger bill. And there's a couple things I would have loved to have a vote on. One, to make sure we have, at least on record, where every member is, on going back to Glass-Steagall, separating investment banking from commercial banking, because so we can make sure everybody's deposits are safe. And secondly, we really need to have the derivative market to be transparent, just like the stock market or other exchanges, to make sure that things are on exchanges and have clearing and have a certain level of transparency. And so that's still missing, and so we're going to keep fighting to make sure we get it in. Now, Senator Lincoln's provision is in there, uh, cracking down on derivatives and banks and derivatives. The problem is when the language was merged with the banking bill, there is language that basically says parts of her derivative language, you don't really have to comply with it. And so it's it's like a rule with an exemption, and the exemption is so big, we're very concerned that clearing will be basically uh, insignificant to making the rule really happen. Still on the table at this point, the Merkley 11 amendment that would strengthen the Volcker rule. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I support that uh, amendment, but I think it'll be very hard tonight to get that vote because it's going to be tied to another bill. And even though you'll have a separate vote on it, the final passage on the vote tied together probably will be hard to get. And big picture, what's your prediction mm -hmm. on when this is going to pass and what we're going to see, how this is going to affect? Well, financial? after this, it goes to conference. And so we're still, you know, a couple of steps away from having a final piece of legislation. But I hope that we are continuing to improve it to get trans transparency so that we won't have a $600 trillion derivatives market that people don't really know what's going on, that you really do have, you know, uh, real-time data and information behind these activities. And do you think that what's in the bill right now would prevent some of the financial problems that we've seen in the past Well, if years? you think about swaps particularly and the fact that these were traded without people, you know, really understand, you know, creating a house of cards, if you will, with, with people betting against people without real interest, without financial backing, you know, creating an unstable situation. That can still exist because of this loophole that will be in the Senate bill. And what's been going on? I know you had trouble with your amendment. A number of Democrats have had trouble getting their amendments to the floor. T talk to me a little bit about the frustration and what you would have liked to have seen and how things have been behind Well, every, the every bill is always, you know, probably more amendments than, than the Congress has time for. But you've had the biggest fiscal crisis our country, actually the world has seen, in 60 or 70 years. So to me, it's something that we should take our time and get it right. I would have preferred more amendments. I would have preferred stronger language to separate commercial and investment banking and to make sure that derivatives aren't this huge, you know, dark market that's bigger, you know, almost bigger than our, uh, you know, bigger than the NASDAQ, bigger than these other exchanges. And, you know, we need to have transparency. What are going to be some of the sticking points when we go to conference with the House, when the Senate and the House need to, need to come to some agreements? Are there big differences between these bills? Well, there's there's a, a few differences, but I, I think that they'll try to work those out in conference and that uh, some of these issues, you know, if they're not in either bill, they're not going to end up being in conference. And it's really going to be the question of now that everybody can see the packages together, I hope we have a national discussion and debate about what's left out, because really it's what's left out that is going to determine and, you know, whether we have uh, created a strong bill or not. If and you have too many exemptions, you know, they become the rule. And it, what are your thoughts going forward? Are you going to be offer? Are you going to be bringing this up again? Well, we'll try, but the process will be much more limited now because it'll just be the conference committee report. So we'll keep trying. I hope people out there will, uh, you know, to me, it's very important for business, for predictability in business, for predictability in investment, to have capital markets that are transparent. So we're going to keep fighting for that. Senator Cantwell, thank you so much for being here with us again.